Hi families, we are so excited that you decided to join us today. My name is Lena McGregor and I'm a part of the kids team here at Waymaker Church. We're in a seven week series for both preschool and elementary kids called King of My Heart. In a world that can feel chaotic and scary at times, this series shows us that no matter our fears, sin patterns and circumstances, God is still in control as King over all. When we belong to Jesus and He is the King of our heart, we can trust Him with our health, our hopes, and our hurts. Throughout this series, you will be able to worship as a family with both elementary and preschool songs and hear a word that was designed for the whole family. We hope that God speaks to your heart and mind through today's word and worship. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.
What's up, everybody? My name is Jez. And I'm Peter. And with the Bible in between us, we're... The PB&J Show! Christmas edition. For real this time. Yeah, that Thanksgiving episode really threw me off. Thanksgiving? How are we supposed to talk about Thanksgiving? Right? This this is the worst! Oh, I'm so tired right now! Oh. Who does the scheduling for this show, Jez? Jeremy, is it you? Jeremy? You're fired! Here now, and today we get to talk about Christmas. Before we get into the story, me and Peter are actually gonna open up presents. We were gonna do it on the Thanksgiving episode because we thought it was the Christmas episode, but but hey, we're gonna do it now. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Is, is something wrong, Peter? Huh? Oh, uh, uh, no, no, <laughs> nothing's wrong. It's just. I don't know, I mean, it's a new episode. Why don't we, you know, just get each other new gifts at some point? I mean, we're just... What? No, dude, you are gonna love my gift. Here, open it. Uh, okay. Jez, you got me an Apple Watch? That's well, so much money! <laughs> well, you know, I I know you had a long year, and man, I just want to get you something nice, so... I wish I could have got to you sooner, but I mean, I just hope you enjoy it. I, yeah, I love it. That's so much money, though. Sweet. So I can open yours now. Huh? Uh, uh, no, I mean, we're, we're already blowing through time right now. Maybe we should just go ahead and go to the Bible story or something. Right, we can but do no, dude, we've got time. Like, let me open it. Um, okay, here you go. Peter, there's nothing in here. Yeah, uh, I can ex- explain that, actually. Uh, it's not goldfish. Uh, that was supposed to be a trick. Um, I actually had a huge Amazon gift card in there for you. But, uh, you see, I uh, when we didn't do the episode during Thanksgiving, I was like, oh, I gotta get Christmas gifts for my family. And I went, wait, I could just use the gift card and then put another gift card in there later. So I used the gift card, and I bought all those gifts, and I called completely forgot to buy another gift card and now with all the Christmas shopping I don't really have much money to spare for it so I just ah, I'm really sorry Jazz. I really messed up on this one. Oh man dude it's totally fine getting gifts for your family is super important no Jez it is not okay I really messed up because I used your gift card and now you don't get anything cool and you got me something cool just take the Apple Watch back no Peter I got the gift for you I don't deserve it, Chess. I just, I just, you got me the Apple Watch and you, you just need to make it Bro, I forgive you, man. You do not need to worry. The Christmas story of Jesus is such a good reminder for us in times where we make mistakes. Here, check out this story. It's really going to help you out. The story of Christmas. Jesus is born. This is Mary. You see, Mary was the mother of Jesus, but before that happened, she lived in the town of Nazareth. And she was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. Hey, uh. Hi, Joseph! Who <laughs> got it. Mary got pregnant by the power of God. Wait, huh? Joseph didn't understand all this at first, but an angel came and told him to still take Mary as his wife. Yeah, okay. So he did as the angel said. Not long after that, the ruler of the land, Caesar Augustus, wanted to count how many people were in the land. So Caesar Augustus ordered everyone in the land to travel back to their hometowns so that they could be counted. Joseph's hometown was Bethlehem, so Mary and Joseph traveled from Nazareth all the way to Bethlehem. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they looked for a place to stay. No, I'm sorry. Oh, man. But there was no room for them. Uh, what about that? Um, okay. 
So they stayed in a barn, and while they were there, Mary gave birth to Jesus. Oh. <laughs> she wrapped him snugly in the strips of cloth uh, and laid him in a manger. Excuse me. And so the Son of God, the Savior of the world, was born in a barn in Bethlehem. Wow. I've heard the Christmas story so many times, but today it means so much more. I mean, I know I made a mistake, but it's good to know that Jesus came to this earth, his perfection, and died and rose again for me. Exactly. He died so that the mistakes that you and I and all of us make that separate us from the relationship with God are made clean when we believe and follow Jesus as the Savior of our life. So when you sin or make mistakes, you can remember what Jesus has done for you and not carry the heaviness of what you did because Jesus forgives us. He forgives you. That's true. And honestly, I think I have a good big idea for today. I'm saved because I belong to Jesus, the Savior of the world. That's right. Hey, let's say that all together. I am saved because I belong to Jesus, the Savior of the world. Wow. But hey, Jez, you, you really should take your Apple Watch back. I mean, I, I don't deserve this. That's the thing, Peter. I didn't give you the gift because you deserve it. I gave it to you because I love you. We don't deserve the gift that God gave us through sending his son, Jesus. He grew up on this earth as a perfect man and then died to take the punishment of our sins on the cross. When we believe and follow Jesus, we can have everlasting life with him and follow him here on earth. We don't deserve that gift, but he still gave it to us because he loves us. I love you, Peter. You don't owe me anything. Just be my friend. Wow. Hey, thank you so much. That's also such a good word. I mean, I'm so thankful for how much God loves us no matter what. You know what, Jez? I still want to give you a gift. I'm going to give it to you tomorrow. You're going to love it. I have a good idea. <laughs> Thanks, man. I can't wait for it, and I can't wait for Christmas and celebrate what Jesus has done for us. <laughs> me too, Jez. Well, hey, that's all we have for the show today. I'm Peter. And I'm Jez. And this has been the PB&J Show. And I need to go ahead and find that gift.
Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope that God spoke to you through the content and truth. Be sure to follow us on social media so you can stay up to date with what God is doing here in Wake Kids. Also, you are always welcome to email me at landon.mcgregor at waymaker.church if you have any questions or ways we can be praying for you as a family. We love you guys. Have an amazing week.